It's good to see you. Today we are in um, Kroger in North Myrtle Beach, and I think there used to be a bylaw right across the street. We went in there one time before a year ago or something. I think they've closed. So I had to come in here and get some popcorn. Um, they have free movie rentals at the place where we're staying, and I really wanted some popcorn. So um, I came in here to get popcorn. Look at all these drinks. I'm just fascinated by all these drinks. Now some of these are pretty, pretty common. Um, here's Mexico, which some of y'all are familiar with. This is Coca-Cola made with pure cane sugar. Um, and these are actually made in Mexico. We call them Mexicokes. Um, $1.29 is actually not bad. That's, um, that's a pretty good deal. That's about what they are back home. And you can even get bottles of Sprite. Now I know a lot of these are, you know, people are going to mix them or whatever, but you know, you take them and mix them with your alcohol. They have, I'm going to say it wrong, heart, heart, heartos. They have pineapple flavor. These are all glass bottles. Pineapple, fruit punch, lime, mandarin. My kids love those. These are only 79 cents. And they have tar, tamar, tamarind. I'm not familiar with, uh, with that one. I don't know about that one. We have mineragua, sparkling water. Sangria, sin, Signorial, I don't know how to say that. Uh, but we also have some interesting Coca-Colas up here. We have California Raspberry and Georgia Peach. You can tell what the different, they have the different colors up here. And we have Jones, um, these are cane sugar sodas. We have these back home as well. But you can't get individual bottles like this and they all have different, they'll have little, little pictures on them. Here's gray, orange, green apple, and berry lemonade. We have your New York seltzer up here, black cherry soda, root beer soda, and that was raspberry, but it looks like they're out. OGG gold ginger ale. Huh, I bet that's good. That's made in Georgia, and they have artillery hot spice ginger ale. Balls, and I know I'm not saying that right, but that's what it looks like to me, balls. Balls. Garana original. I don't know. And we have cherry in a clear bottle. We also have sparkling juices. We have clementine and blackberry. Ooh, grapefruit. These are four dollars. And we have Virgil's zero sugar root beer or zero sugar cola little cans. They're well, they're 12 ounce cans, they're regular size. And we have dry sparkling lavender soda. Ooh. Now here we have more Virgil stuff. We have lemon lime and orange. And I don't know what this is. This is huge. Simple Truth Organic Italian Soda Blood Orange. Ooh. Blood Orange, Pink Grapefruit, Sicilian Lemon, and Tangerine. And here we have San Pellegrino. Hey, that's that stuff we tried in that video. It wasn't one of these flavors. It was a different flavor we have. Aranciata, Aranciata, Rosa. I don't speak Italian. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is lemonade, and then we have this other fruit stuff. That's not Italian anyway. God, I don't. I'm tired, y'all. I'm on vacation. <laughs> Ooh, a black cherry cream soda from Virgil's. Regular cream soda, root beer. The pictures are interesting on these things. Check that out. I do wonder what that lavender soda tastes like. And now here we have cans. Live soda, lemon lime. It has billions, billions of probiotics. And root beer and grape. Oh, that's Zivia, Zivia, whatever. This is boiling ginger ale. This is made with cane sugar. Pretty bottle. Nice cream bottle. I like that. Um, over here you have your actual, like, you have your Bloody Mary mix. Zing Zang. It's called Zing Zang. The award winning Bloody Mary mix. What do you do to win an award when you make an alcoholic drink? Here we have a huge jug. It's a plastic jug of uh, Daly's cocktails. 
strawberry mix. I don't drink, so I don't really know. You can get a bucket, a big bucket of premium strawberry daiquiri and margarita mixer. Just to add rum or tequila. And this is a margarita mixer. Even has a little spout, so you can, you won't waste any time. You can get hooch, fizzy mixer. <laughs> oh, God. And here's your, just your little margarita salt there for your rim of your glass. Jose Cuervo, classic margarita mix. Lord, this stuff's expensive. Mmm. And your seltzers and tonic waters. This is Schweppes. My mother loves their ginger ale. I'm, I can't reach all the way back there. I can, but I'm not going to because I'm on vacation and I don't, I don't care that much. You can also get Kroger, Kroger tonic water, Canada dry tonic water, Fever tree tonic water. Ooh, that's seven dollars for that one. Um, I have to get back over here. Someone's in the way. Okay, hey, what's this? They have a private selection. They have a bourbon barrel, naturally flavored cola made with real cane sugar. These are a dollar a piece. Oh, Huckleberry Hibiscus. Cream soda. Root beer. Peach and black pepper. Oh, interesting. All of these are made with cane sugar. Blackberry jam. Lime mint julep. What in the world? You see. Montana's legendary soda, Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda, handcrafted. Those are a dollar. And we have, um, okay, so what flavor is this? This is sour cherry, this is black raspberry, strawberry orange. Oh, a huckleberry. <clears throat> we used to have little huckleberry bushes around where I grew up. I haven't had huckleberries in years. And boiling root beer, diet root beer, and your cream soda, I suppose. Oh, here's a black cherry. I ought to get some of these for my mom. She loves black cherry stuff. And then over here, oh, we already looked at these though. We already looked at that. And then look at all the soda. Look at all the different types of soda. We have, these are Kroger real sugar sodas. I like the boxes, the, the packs they come in are very attractive and they have a lot of them. We have Cola Time, Citrus Beak, Root Beer, Oh, black cherry. The physicist, very funny. So what does that taste like? It doesn't say. Real sugar soda, this is ginger ale, cream soda, birch beer, root beer, orange cream, and then we have black cherry soda here. I don't think it's, I don't think it has the real sugar in it though. And then they have their generics up here, Big K. They don't have any three liters, but they do have two liters. Ooh, citrus drop. I guess it's like sun drop, I guess. Um, strawberry, peach, ooh, pineapple, passion fruit soda, ginger ale, diet cola, and of course they have <laughs> cola O, zero calories, OMG, zero cows, very cute. Um, diet citrus drop. Diet black cherry. These are cheap too. Three for two bucks. And fruit punch. And then we have these adorable little cans of cherry coke. If that's the normal size in your country, I get it. They don't belong there though. Um, where do these go? They don't go there. We have your Dr. Peppers, A&W. They go down here. Dr. Pepper, <clears throat> where's, I know it's, well, they're not gonna go with the Pepsi products anyway, they're gonna be over here. Coke Classic, Seagram's, Sprite, Diet Coke, Coke Cherry. They go right there. <clears throat> you see they have these adorable little baby cans. Or you can get a two liter for 99 cents of the Coke products. Oh, Pepsi products are 99 cents. That's my favorite right there. In some countries, it's still called Pepsi Max. Here, they changed the name to Pepsi Zero Sugar. That's my that's my favorite soda. It's it's really good. 
So what happens if we come out here? Let's see, we have wine. I'm gonna tell you, any grocery store you go in down here, there is just wine everywhere. I had no idea people drank so much. Here we have a whole aisle of it, like right here. Let's see. Here's a, what the heck? It's like an, it's like an Atkins shake, but it's wine. You can get a, a little, a little doohickey of wine, 549. I guarantee you the reason they do that is so you can take them out on the beach. You can't take glass bottles on the beach here. So I guarantee you these are for going to the beach. We have Vendange, Vin, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay. These are $4. They do still have the little, these are plastic. These are actually plastic bottles that you could take on the beach. Those are glass. Here's some more provisions. Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay. Just don't stick one in your kid's lunch box. It's, it's not for that. Boda box, you can get you a box. Sangria. Mm. You can get your good old Franzia box of wine here. Has a convenient handle so you can carry it to wherever you're gonna get wasted. Big bottles. Lord, that's only $8.49. Look at that huge thing. Golly Pete. One and a half liters. Right there, Gallo family, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, Vendange, or however you say it, Sutter Home. Good God, these things are huge. Yellowtail, Barefoot. Yeah, that's awesome. And you can get these, these are on sale for $9.99. Twisted, Old Vine Zinfandel, Stella Mia, Menage a Trois. They have this in Target back home. They have these in Target. <clears throat> and it just, it just goes and goes and goes. Oh, there's the one my current ex always liked. Mark West Pinot Noir. I think it tastes like cough syrup, but he likes it. And then, of course, you have beer, I mean, and hard lemonade. These actually are pretty good, Mike's Hard Lemonade. Those are pretty good. If I had to choose an alcoholic drink, it would probably be that. Ooh, hard watermelon lemonade. I've never tried that one. I'm not really a beer drinker. Um, I drink it to be nice, I guess, but I really don't like the taste of beer. And I've tried probably at least one of all of these, and I just don't like the taste of beer basically um and craft beers red oak beer is okay they actually make that just outside of greensboro it's a local beer red oak it's it's okay it's not bad i laid all the beef beef jerky pork belly bites roasted and charred with crispy burnt crispy burnt ends <laughs> what oh my i'll put it back Marinated Colby BQ, honey, oh, green chili, hot and spicy, and original recipe. They even have carne asada, uh, ooh, uncured bacon. I have some bacon jerky back at the hotel. Turkey jerky. Hmm, turkey jerky. You know how to make fish jerky. Give them some coffee. <laughs> Why is there so much jerky in here? Lord, it goes all the way down. <laughs> Have you ever seen that much? Oh, deer, deer jerky. Venison jerky. Venison steak with beef. Okay. And good old pig jerky. Hickory smoked uncured bacon and pork. And jerky's good, but it's expensive. And we have more drinks down here. Do they have, they don't have red oak here, I don't think. I don't see it. Well, they might, I'm just, I'm not buying any. I don't really care, I'm just looking. I don't see it though. 
so it has to be refrigerated so you're always going to find it in the refrigerated section but red oak is not bad i don't like pale ale i don't like ipas They're, they just taste so watery to me and look more wine and more beer I'm starting to think that just going to the beach is such an unpleasant experience for some people that they just have to drink to get through it. Of course, you know what? I've come here with small children before and I kind of get it. I've had some beach trips that were not a lot of fun. Down here we have juices, straws, all kinds of, you can get the larger containers of juice. Ooh, pomegranate blueberry, I bet that's good. Mm, I brought all that stuff with, with us. I don't really need any of that stuff. What is this? A, oh, a cordless drink mixer. That's cool. Um, we have carrot, ginger, turmeric, carrot, orange carrot, black cherry, cranberry, just cranberry. These are expensive. Just black cherry, just tart cherry, here are some Martinelli's apple juice. This is this is good stuff. Oh, it's in a plastic bottle. These are peculiar. They don't even have a, oh, there it is. A little thing that you scan. I've never seen Martinelli's like that. Beet performer, cherry performer. Oh, you can get your beet juice, apple beet, ginger, elderberry. They have a remarkable selection of juices and drinks here. Pure pineapple. Oh, that's eight thirty-nine. Whoa. Here's a big jug of Martinelli's. Look at that. A plastic jug and a the glass. They also have unfiltered apple juice. Martinelli's is a good apple juice. It's really good. They also have Martinelli's sparkling cider. Sparkling apple cranberry, sparkling apple grape, kosher grape. That's um, Nud, R. W. Nud, Nudson down there. Um, and then over here, oh, what's this? America the Beautiful. Oh, this is a bottle of Budweiser. That's fancy. You can see these. You can these. You can actually take out on the beach. Here we have spiked seltzer, grapefruit. These are 10 for $10. You have your refrigerated section. I don't need anything from there. Actually, I only need, um, I wanted some microwave popcorn. Here we have some more stuff. Briny melon. I don't know how you say that. I'm not even gonna try. I don't care. I'm not buying it, so I don't really care how you say it. Um, Two Hearted Ale American IPA. That's a pretty picture. Wow. All the brands. Angry Orchard. That's an interesting picture right there. I haven't seen, I've never seen that one before. Banana Bread Beer. Ooh. That sounds terrible. I mean, maybe I'm not open minded enough. That just sounds gross. Oh, look, Budweiser Discovery Reserve American Red Lager. There's another one I've never seen. Southern, Southern Pecan. Lazy, Lazy. Lazy, this is Lazy Magnolia, Mississippi's oldest brewery. Southern Pecan, this is a pecan nut brown ale. All brewed with roasted pecans, that's interesting. Never heard of that one. That might be that might be good. I don't I don't actually know. More wine. You can just get a whole a whole box. That's heavy. Oh look, more wine. Hey, we saw these at um. Where did we see these? BJ's wholesale. You can you can buy a wine with the. Uh, with criminals on it. Look, these are bad guys, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand alcohol. 
here's some more. It is on literally, look, here's more. It's on every corner practically. You can also get stuff to make ice cream stuff with if you want to make. You could get salted caramel, hot fudge, strawberry, caramel. Of course, it's the magic shell. I used to love this stuff as a kid. You put it on there and it gets, it gets nice and crunchy. When I was um, driving around, I noticed um, a lot of ice cream places here. I think I'd just go get some ice cream, but if you're like us and you're here for several days, you might want to get some. Pizza. These are pretty containers here, sparkling ice. And you can get your bottled water, of course. Um, the tap water here is not good. It's, it's really, eh. Look at that. It's cloudy pineapple juice. Or no, I think it's the bottle that looks like that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad or anything. What's down here? Oh, you can get enhanced water or sparkling water. Or you can just, just get just plain old boring water. You can. All kinds of waters. Here we have this stuff that I can't pronounce. I'm not gonna try to. Again, I don't really I don't really care how it's pronounced. I'm, I'm not buying any. So this is antioxidant cocoa fusion. And what are these? Fit aid. Recover. Supplement your lifestyle. It's like we have different flavors. We have purple flavor, orange flavor, blue flavor, and black flavor. I, I mean, I don't know what flavor it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Now see these, you can kind of tell what flavor they are. They're pineapple. And this one is pink grapefruit. I never knew staying hydrated was so complicated. Look at this fancy bottle. White raspberry uh, flavored. That's two dollars for that little. How much is this? Fourteen and a half ounces. Or you can get Neurosonic, and then you can get Kroger Vitamin Enhanced. This is Mango Melon or Black and Blueberry, and Propel Watermelon. I don't really like flavored water. I would rather just have regular water, honestly. Um, here we have Yerba Mate, Blue Foria, Guayaki. I'm not smart enough to know what to pick out of here. I'm, I'm not picking any of it. I, you know what? I have, I have bottled water back at the room. I think I'm good. Lacroix. They sell this stuff at um, Aldi. And I heard somebody. I read a tweet one time. The perfect description for the flavors of this it tastes like drinking water while someone yells the name of a flavor from another room that is exactly what this stuff tastes like it's, it it tastes like someone yelling the flavor from another room that's perfect I don't like it <laughs> pink grapefruit now this is Kroger seltzer water they have mandarin orange pink grapefruit lemon cranberry lime lemon lime and then you, if you really just want to lose the will to live, you could just drink unflavored seltzer, wa seltzer water. It just tastes like you gave up. Just, just why bother? No, see, I just buy, I'll just get a gallon like this and just drink that. It's, it's 99 cents for a whole gallon. And but yeah, the water in the room is really gross. <laughs> Hey, you can wrap presents, you can buy cards. Wow, look at all the cards. A lot of cards. Tissue paper. That, one, that one's pretty, I like that. Oh, this one too. You got all colors. And then, let me see. Over here they have their little pharmacy section. You can get, these things are 10 for $10. You can get some diaper wipes. Bags, these little things, of little candies. They even have Kroger hand soap. This one is a uh, ripe melon, coconut milk, peony petals, and plum. I bet that smells good. Lemongrass and basil. Ooh, I would love to smell that. 
And of course we have sunscreen. We have little bits and baubles that you can buy. Now we're in North Myrtle, but they have lots of Myrtle Beach stuff, like these little magnets here. That doesn't even look like an M. It looks like Slurtle Beach to me. Sunglasses, those don't go here. A Taste of Grits, Girls Raised in the South. Cookbook, Southern Hospitality Recipes. Oh, that's cute. That's $6.99. You can get a little recipe book. Tropical Fish Playing Cards. Shot glasses everywhere. You can find... You can always find lots of stuff like this, like little... A little jar, a little glass thing with sand in it and shells. Very common. Myrtle Beach coffee cups. Oh, that one's classy. But we're not at Myrtle Beach. We're at North Myrtle. It's actually hard to find North Myrtle Beach stuff. Myrtle Beach is okay, but I prefer North Myrtle. It's it's quieter here. It's it's not quite so crazy. Oh look, Myrtle Beach piggy bank. Someone who loves me very much went to Myrtle Beach and brought me back this piggy bank. Sweet. Um, a t-shirt. These are cute. Oh, I like that one with the shell on it. And it comes in different colors. A little bottle opener. These are neat. Little hearts on them. Oh, look at the little wood, wooden fish. Aw. Those are only $2. And it has Myrtle Beach on the little wooden thing. Here's one with a teddy bear. Or a big heart. Oh, a sailboat. There were some sailboats out this morning that we saw. Yeah, cool. So, let's see. And then you have, you know, just your standard drugstore stuff. Lots and lots of sunblock. And little pullback cars. Oh, I'm so glad my son's not here. He loves these. He loves to, he collects these little pullback cars. And then, of course, since we're at the beach, you're going to have lots of stuff like beach towels. Oh, these colors are beautiful. Look at that one. Nice. And you can get little mats to put down on the beach. Ah, different things to play with outside. Of course, you have your goggles and whatnot. And yeah, lots of toys, gummy bears, a frog. He squeaks. I'm not going to squeeze him, but you can tell because he has that little thing in his mouth. Yeah. And then, let's see, I, this is all Myrtle Beach, yeah, Myrtle Beach. I'm not knocking Myrtle Beach. I just like North Myrtle better. We always stay at the same place. Although next time I'm thinking of a different place. The place that we stay I love a lot. That's a cute cup. But I hate the parking deck. Their parking deck is, I'm not claustrophobic, but their parking deck, the spaces are about that big. And the turns in there are so tight that if there's a car coming the other way, if there's a car coming the other way, you have to back up and move. It's Oh, I hate that parking deck. All these dishes are cool. Look at that. These are neato. It's pretty. They all have different patterns, although this one matches that one. These are pretty. I love that. I especially love this one. I think that's my favorite. Those are beautiful colors. Um, here's a... That is the fanciest cutting board I have ever seen. Ooh. And little ceramic or no, what is that? It's resin planters. I mean, I guess if you have a house here, you would buy this stuff, but why would you buy this stuff here? That's a cool towel. It matches the uh, cutting board. It's neat. I don't know why you would buy decorative stuff here unless you, again, unless you had a, a house here. That's a neat pillow. No, I like coming to the beach, but I wouldn't want a house here. I'm not messing with that. No lights. 
And then you have your grilling stuff. If you want to cook out, you can get all your little your little grilling implements, pots and pans, blenders. Yeah, this isn't the whole store. I just thought we would walk around a little bit in here. We ended up stuck over in the beverage section for a while, but um, I have to go find I have to go find microwave popcorn. And I can't remember what the other thing was, but it's on my list. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out and walking around in here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon. Bye.